so excited because today I'm gonna watch a live flamenco performance and not in a random place this place is part of the cultural heritage in the city of Madrid and it has been recommended by the New York Times there's five things you need to know to truly enjoy a live flamenco performance but what is actually flamenco? It's a form of art from my perspective. If we think about how it started, we need to mention the folklore music traditions from the Chipsy people in the region of Andalusia in Spain and also Extremadura and Murcia. Really a fusion of musical styles, culture and traditions between people called Gitanos, Andalusians, Castilians, Moors and Jews. talk about the five crucial things you need to know to truly enjoy a live flamenco performance. Cante means singing and there's dozens of classifications of flamenco songs with different structure, rhythm and characteristics. An example of those ones are alegrías, bulerías, malagueñas, fandangos and so on. But most of them can fall into three different categories. Cante hondo, cante intermedio, and Cante Chico. Cante Chico is the simplest of the three styles and the themes are much lighter, such as love, countryside and humor. Cante Hondo means deep song and it's very complex and emotional. Common themes are death, pain, no hope, really, really, really an emotional territory. Cante Intermedio is less complex and more lively and it goes with guitars, castanets and hand clapping. <laughs> Baile is dancing and typically performed with guitars and singers. It goes hand in hand with the cante because the way you tell the story, it needs to be really, really connected. They express a lot of emotion through movements in the arms and body. Male dancers, male flamenco dancers, they do a very intense footwork. Women dancers, flamencas, they focus more on arm, hands and finger movements. And both of them, they have incredible costumes and complex ruffles and they look amazing. Toki is literally the guitar. There's few differences obviously between the classical guitar and the flamenco guitar. There's physical differences and technical differences. The flamenco guitar has a thinner top, less internal bracing and a tap area. Flamenco guitars, they typically use a capo to have a higher pitch and match the vocal range of the singer. Because again, this is about improvisation and, and adjustments. And I think this one I mentioned before, but flamenco has a lot of finger tapping. That's why you have a special plate embedded in the guitar. Haleo, what is Haleo? One of the most striking moments of the performance is those gestures and shouts saying Oye! It's really those screams of encouragement to take the artist to the next level and this is so important in flamenco because if we can elevate them we're gonna have a much better connection It's just a natural and spontaneous moment really Okay I'm a bit struggling today to film myself. <laughs> I'm gonna show you after behind the scenes, but you can see I am using here my backpack as a table and here's a rubbish bin. So all I do is just place this little thing here which has a tripod on top of my backpack and that is it really. That's improvisation. I told you flamenco is about improvising quick adjustments Filming is the same, especially when you're doing vlogs. You have people coming around, you have different situations like the sun, limited time. It's all about quick adjustments and improvisation. Palmas is like clapping, hand clapping, and this is the oldest, most accurate and traditional method of percussion. This was here long before the boxes and the instruments that we have nowadays. This is actually a very tough role, because you might think, ah, palmas, hand clapping, how difficult this could be. It's actually very difficult, because these guys, they need to follow the beat, follow the verses, if it's quiet, if it's loud and literally adjust to that. It's like a proper, proper instrument. To be a professional palmero, like a clapper, you need to spend some time and effort. It's not that simple. So please respect these people. It's just absolutely unbelievable what they do. Okay, so those are the five things that are crucial to know to truly enjoy a live flamenco performance. 
I mean, it's not mandatory, you will still enjoy it. But I guess if you know those five things, you can see the performance differently. So we are going to Barrio Las Letras now, which is very, very close to Puerta del Sol and very centric area in Madrid. Um, this Tablao, Tablao is the venue where all these flamenco shows are taking place, has been recognized by the city of Madrid as a cultural heritage place and also by the New York Times it has been recommended to visit. From my perspective there's a lot of different flamenco places in Madrid and throughout Spain but just because I, I got good feedback I'm going to this place. very close to the center of Madrid. This is called Barrio Las Letras. We're meters away from this flamenco tablao. Wow, crazy. This was absolutely insane. I loved it. Right guys, that's all from me. Hopefully you like this video and now you know a little bit more about flamenco like me.